It's time for another grocery haul. Even though it's not Monday, I have a bonus one to share with you guys this week. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and like I already mentioned, I typically share a weekly grocery haul on Mondays, which I did do yesterday. So if you missed that, make sure you check that out after watching this haul. I did go to two grocery stores this weekend. I went to Trader Joe's, which is what I showed yesterday. And then I also went to Sam's Club to get a few things that we were out on, out of, and a few extra things that we just happened to see and wanted to pick up. So. That is exactly what I have to share with you guys today. I think I will pop up the individual prices. I think my total was a little over $400, maybe around like 410 or something. We had a little bit, it was our, if you have the plus membership, you get a percentage back with every purchase and we were able to cash in on some of our stuff. So we had a little over $50. So I don't remember exactly how much it was before our $50 came out of that. So, but like I said, I will pop up the individual prices. So let me go ahead and turn you guys around, show you everything on our dining room table. Here is an overview of everything that we picked up from Sam's Club. I didn't, normally I separate like the non-food, food, drinks and that kind of thing. Didn't really do that this time, just kind of set up the table as we brought things in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start over here we do have a water softener so we got two bags and i don't know if i mentioned it already i probably did but i am going to pop up prices so you guys can see what each individual item costs but we got two of the 44 pound bags of the morton clean and protect water softener pellets it does have it says like four in one benefits they had two or three I think two pellets and then like a crystals option, but we do need the pellets for our water softener. So again, we got two bags. Then let's come over here to the drinks. Uh, this is, these are pretty much what we pick up on a regular basis about once or twice a month. So we got the Monster Energy Zero Ultra Zero Sugar drinks. This is for my husband, Mark. He's the only one in the house who drinks these. There's 24 16 ounce cans in here and then the gatorade we were not paying attention we just saw that they were the small size that we like but normally we do get the zero sugar and we just like i said we're not paying attention so the kids get a little extra sugar this month but these are the gatorade thirst quenchers again normally we do get zero sugar but these ones are not these are the regular gatorades there's eight of the glacier cherry 12 fruit punch and eight cool blue there's 28 um bottles total and they they are like i said the small the 12 ounce bottles they have the big ones too but i don't like that size for the kids then coming over here we got coke zero this um this is my favorite. My husband and oldest daughter Paige drink this as well. So when we go to Costco later on in the month, we'll probably go ahead and pick up one of each of these again, just because we are, you know, a family of six and we go through. I drink about one of these a day and sometimes my husband and daughter will drink more than one a day, but I'm pretty good about drinking one a day, but 35 between the three of us definitely doesn't last us a month as well as the 24 of those for my husband so anyway we got one of those and then sparkling water is the only way that i can drink water really i don't like regular water whether it is filtered water or tap water or bottled water i like sparkling so i did get the Lacroix. I guess i think yeah you guys can see that so again it's a sparkling water there's 24 cans in here six lemon 12 lime and six grapefruit and then back there i got the charmin i think this is this is the ultra soft yeah and there's 32 um super plus rolls in there so we got that we just pulled the last roll out of the closet and put it on in the master bathroom i think the kids have a couple rolls left in their bathroom but we definitely needed some toilet paper so i'm really glad that that was in stock coming down here we've needed eggs for a little while but i've just held off got the five dozen large eggs we pick that up pretty regularly as well quite a while ago we picked up a steamer and we thought that that would be a good option to use in the closet just to steam a couple of my husband mark's work shirts 
but he did not like it. He said it didn't work very well at all. So we had had an iron on our list for a while and I just kept forgetting to pick one up. Saw this one, the Power XL. So this is a cordless iron, which is perfect because he was having to plug it in in the bathroom and like pull the shirt out. Our laundry room just isn't big enough to like hang clothes and things like that. So we like being able to use our closet and with this being cordless, I think that's going to be perfect. So I just need to get an ironing board to keep in there, but this is a steamer as well in case we wanted to use that um, function. So it says cordless steam iron, vertical steaming, non-stick ceramic sole plate, two in one. And then again, the cordless. So I'm excited to try this out. Hopefully that works on his shirts. Coming over here, some more non-food items. Um, February is Black History Month, so I went ahead and picked up a few books for my kids. I got this one for my son Bryce. They had a bunch of chapter books, but he just does not like reading. He has to read every single day for school. So I went ahead and got him this one, and that way he can read this one. It's just short little, um, stor not stories, but biographies about a whole bunch of black leaders in here. So um, this is gonna be what he is reading this month after school for his reading homework. And it was 11.98. So Little Legends, Exceptional Men, or I guess not leaders, but Exceptional Men in Black History. So I went ahead and got that for him. They did have this same book, but women, Exceptional Women in Black History, but I did not pick that one up. I thought about it. I probably should have so I could read it to the kids, but I went ahead and got that one for my son Bryce. And then I got these two to read to the girls. And if Bryce, you know, is in the room and sitting and he can listen to me read these as well. But I got this one, which is I Am Enough. It was 1264, you can see there. And it just says, I'll give you guys a little thing. It's an essential book for everyone uh, to loving who you are, respecting others, and being kind to one another. So I thought that was really nice. So I picked that one up. And then the last book that I picked up was this one. I've heard a lot of really good things about this book. So this one was $11.98. So she has the color, skin the color of midnight, darker than everyone in her family, darker than anyone in her school. She just wants to be beautiful and bright like her mother and sister. And then a magical journey in the night sky opens her eyes and changes everything. So it's just a heartwarming story that will inspire children to see their own unique beauty. So I picked this one up as well. Not necessarily, you know, Black History Month, but I like those books. I like the meaning behind these books. And then again, this one for my son, Bryce. He likes these types of books uh, over, you know, like fictional stories. I think he enjoys those. He has a lot of the like I Survive books that he likes. So I went ahead and got those three. And then my daughter, I don't know if this video is going out first or Trader Joe's, but I went to Sam's and Trader Joe's. So if Trader Joe's is already up, I will have that linked in the description box. But she, my oldest daughter Paige, asked me to get some of the juices from Trader Joe's, but they did not have a very good selection when I went today. And I saw these at Sam's, so I picked these up for her. And these are the Naked Variety 12 pack, no sugar added. And there's three strawberry banana juices, three Mighty Mango, three Berry Blast, and three Blue Machine. So I did get those for her. I picked these up. <laughs> it's been so long. And you guys, Sam's lied. <laughs> they said that these were like a seasonal item. They're only out for a little while. They are a regular item now. I see them every single time that I go and I haven't picked them up in forever. So I did go ahead and pick them up to treat myself, right? It's like the, the sweet month, love month. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna eat these. So I got the s'more snack mix. I love these, they're so good. It's crunchy grams, fluffy marshmallows, and they are coated in milk chocolate. Super, super yummy. All right, my cat loves these things. She's obsessed with them. She has to have a tiny little, like I give her a little itty bitty handful every single morning. It's like her treat in the morning. You know how most of the time you, you know, get a treat in the middle of the day or at night? No, but crack of dawn. Every single morning, she's meowing, rubbing herself on me on the side of the bed and asking for her treats. So I have to get up and give her a little treat. And I got her a, like a holiday mix for Christmas. And that one's, mm, I think there's like half, there's half of the container left, but I saw these at Sam's and I was like, you know what? Once that's gone, I don't have any more. So I did go ahead and get this three pack, which is typically what I pick up for her. So there's Tasty Chicken, Catnip Fever, and Surfer's Delight. They're 16 ounces and you know, the three different ones in there. So that does last quite a while. So I went ahead and got that. 
This is what I was looking for last time I went to Sam's, which is the white vinegar. Now I do not need any distilled white vinegar. I have half of the big one that you can get from Costco and then a full one, but I love the size of these. So I did go ahead and pick them up since I didn't find them last time. I didn't want to wait until I was out of vinegar and not find these little ones again. So I picked those up and then I need to look back at my Costco receipt. I, I think I still have it and see how much those big ones were and which is the cheapest option. Cause I really just want this size. They're, they're gallon, they're gallon containers. And obviously the one from Costco is bigger. I don't know if it's quite two gallons, but I know it's bigger and these fit better on in my laundry room. It's just not a huge big thing. And it fits under my kitchen sink, which I use this in my laundry and my dishwasher. So I went ahead and got that just so I could have those bottles to refill from now on, or I'll just, you know, keep buying those when I see them. Okay. Then I needed some green grapes. I'm going to be doing some meal prep that you guys are going to see in a future video, like putting, actually putting together lunches and snacks and breakfast options for my husband and I. So I went ahead and got some green grapes for some of those. And my kids love grapes as well. I was looking for strawberries. I didn't pick up strawberries at Trader Joe's because I wanted to get them from Sam's, but then Sam's didn't have any. Okay. I need some butter. So I got the members mark salted sweet cream butter. There are four, what? Yeah. Four boxes here. And each box has four, four ounce sticks. So 16 ounce total in each of these boxes. So 16 times four, that's a lot of butter. It takes me a while to go through them, but I am almost out. So I needed that. We are completely out of pasta sauce. And the last time I got pasta sauce, I used Ibotta to get a few different kinds. And I thought about doing that because it's definitely cheaper, but we have a lot of pasta and noodles and things like that on hand and no sauce. And I'm not going to Walmart or anything like that for using Ibotta. So I did go ahead and just get that. We love this kind also, the Rayo's homemade marinara sauce. It's super, super yummy and not a whole lot of extra sugar in there. That's a, a pretty healthy alternative to well, not an alternative, but it's a healthier version of marinara, marinara and pasta sauce. So I did get that back behind the sauce is a 10 pound bag of sugar. I am almost out of sugar. So I went ahead and got the big one. That way it lasts me a while and I don't have to pick it up too often. I don't use a whole lot of sugar anyway, but I do have a few things that I'm going to be baking and putting together that I need some sugar for. So I did get that. I just finished my Clorox too. So I needed another one while I'm using my backup. Now I just opened it. So I need a back. Does that even make sense? Anyway, I like to have things in twos. I say that all the time, but I know, um, I have new people watching my videos every day. So, or every time I post. So, um, just to let you know, I do have a Clorox too, but I like to keep things like cleaning wise in backup. So I don't run out. So I did go ahead and get another Clorox two for colors. And then my oldest daughter just recently got her braces off. So she has been using some white strips just to keep her teeth nice and clean or not clean, but one color, you know what I mean? So there's no marks from the braces. So she needed some more of these. I had some from the previous time that I picked them up a while ago. These last a long time. So I did go ahead and pick this up a little bit pricey, but I think these are pricey in the store also. So these are the Crest 3D white strips. There's 40 strips in there, which I think you use them and it's a top and a bottom. So 20 treatments in total. And I think you only use them once a week. So that'll, you know, last 20 weeks. And then these ones are like the monthly maintenance. So you only use them once a month and there's 12 in there. So six treatments. So six months on that 20 weeks on that. So like I said, that'll last a good while. My daughter's Rose and Pearl. I got them this what is it called? The spin art, this little spin art kit from the Dollar Tree. It was one of their Valentine day, like count ups. We're doing a countdown to Valentine's day. So they got that the other day and obviously you can't use, you have to use something small to put in this little spin art. If you know what it is and the colored pencils, they were pushing so hard that they keep kept breaking. So I was like, I'm going to get you guys some colored pins. We don't have any colored pins. So I saw these at Sam's, picked them up for them. And you can see there's tons of different colors in there. Does it tell me 14? There's 14 in there, gel pins. It does say reduced smearing. So this is for the girls to use in their little spin art um, craft kits that I got for them. This was something completely extra. It just caught my eye and sounded so good. I am going to, I think this would be okay in the freezer. I'm going to go ahead and divide this into two different containers and put one in the freezer and then have one in the fridge. It is good until I think 
April. Yeah, April 4th. So I'm gonna leave it closed until I decide what we wanna do with it. Oh, the, the glare, there we go. It wasn't focusing. So it's fried pickle and ranch dip. Rich and creamy, delectably dilly. I love dill, it's so good. So I thought this would be good on a few different things. So I'm gonna think about it if I wanna like cook with this or just use it as dipping vegetables or chips in. Um, until we open that and then I'll divide it once we open it. All right, needed some ground beef. So much cheaper buying this than how I have been buying them. When you buy them in the one pound, like little packages from um, Walmart, which I have been doing the past couple weeks, they're like five something each. But this whole thing for three pounds of the, oh, a little over three pounds, that's so 3.05 pounds. Um, it's only 378 a pound. So I paid 11.53 total for these three and I like the like extra lean, the 93% lean, 7% fat because there's not a lot of grease or anything when you're cooking it. So I did get that. I thought about getting two of them, but I think this will, we have ground beef like once a week. Sometimes we have it twice a week, just depends, but I figured this would last us until we went to Costco and maybe I'll get the ground beef from Costco as well. All right, I got some cucumbers. I'm meal prepping the cucumbers as well. And then my kids like to have, we have typically about one a week for snacking. The kids like to snack on cucumbers. So I went ahead and got the three pack of the seedless long cucumbers. And then last but not least, I did get a bathing suit. I thought this one was cool. We're going to the lake this summer and we're gonna be riding on jet skis and you know, just sitting around. And I liked this because it was almost like a tank top or like a, like a sports top like a workout top. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I love the colors. And then these are shorts. They're like a bathing suit short. So I thought that would be comfortable, like walking around and not feeling like I was just in a, like, you know, like a panty bottom type bathing suit. So I thought this would be nice. So I did go ahead and pick that up for, you know, getting ready for this summer. But that is everything from Sam's Club for this monthly haul. All right, so that's everything that we picked up from Sam's Club this month. If you guys are new, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Tomorrow, I'm actually sharing a complete redo of our dining room. So it looks completely different than it has in past videos. I'm super excited to share that with you guys. We are taking uh, one room or a couple rooms at a time in this house and really making it our home. So if you guys are wanting to watch that, hit that bell next to the subscription button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. If you guys love grocery hauls or Sam's Club, give this one a big thumbs up and I will see you guys tomorrow back in this dining room. Bye.